Hi, my name is Vicky, and welcome back to my channel. I love all things fragrance, beauty, body care, and I love a good haul. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button. Okay, so this video, I am doing my scent subscriptions featuring royalty scents and scent box. So um, just a, a backstory on scent subscriptions, if you're unfamiliar with them. There are places such as, I think, Rebel Scents, scent bird scent box royalty scents and i'm sure there are some um other companies that do scent subscriptions and essentially they send you a um i think it's it's less than a travel spray amount i think it's probably like 10 mls or something um but it's it gives you a nice little sample for you to test out a fragrance to i guess see if you like it before you actually go and buy a full bottle because a lot of us have been catfished by some of these perfumes, okay? They look like they smell good, and then you get it home and it doesn't smell good, or it smells good in the store, but you spray it on your skin and you're like, mm, doesn't really agree with your body chemistry. So I think that's really what scent subscriptions are for. It's so helpful. It'll either confirm your decision on to buy a full bottle, or it'll say, you know what? I don't think that's the one for you. Let's start with my scent box subscriptions. Now, these are technically my May subscriptions and they've just been sitting around like everything else. Don't judge me. Um, but this is from Scentbox. And I get two cents a month from Scentbox. And a good thing that I like about Scentbox is that every month you accrue scent bucks. So I think I mentioned this in, in a haul video a couple videos ago. Um, you can accrue those and you can use those if you like to actually purchase something. So you can purchase a um, sample size, like I think the same size. This is approximately how much will come in there. You can purchase these. You can actually purchase full bottles. I bought two of my scandals. I bought Scandal by Night and Scandal Opry from Scentbox. And I use Scentbox to get money off. So I didn't pay full price for either of them. So I love that for me, love that for you too. So um, I highly recommend subscribing. I'm not affiliated in any way. So um, I can leave like a, a scent box link if you're interested in signing up for your own scent subscription and try it out. So this first scent I have is Bonbon bon from Victor and Rolf. And the notes to Bonbon bon are peach, mandarin orange, and orange in the top. In the middle is caramel, orange blossom, and jasmine. And then the base is amber, sandalwood, guayac wood, and cedar. Is that? Yeah, def I'm smelling orange. Yeah, I can, I can, it's fruity, so that's definitely that peach. Mmm. It was warming up into that caramel that mm -hmm. yeah i like bonbon this is actually not my first sample of bonbon i got another sample because i'm still on the fence about whether or not i want to buy bonbon because it doesn't really last i mean you spray it and then 10 minutes later it's like gone and i've noticed that for the flower bomb line too I'm gonna play around with bonbon, see if I'm gonna actually go about getting a full size bottle. But I enjoy the scent of bonbon. I just wish that it lasted longer because I need it to last. The bottle's cute though, okay? Let's be clear. So my next scent from Scentbox for May is Creed Virgin Island Water. I'm not sure if the camera's gonna pick this up or not, so. Um, but the top notes are coconut, lime, white bergamot, and Sicilian mandarin. Middle is ginger, ylang ylang, Indian jasmine, and hibiscus. And the base is white rum, sugarcane, and musk. So let's let's see what this is hitting on. First of all, I'm spraying it towards my computer. I don't need to be doing that. Oh, it's zesty. That's lime. Mmm. I ain't gonna hold y'all. 
This kind of smells like cleaning products. Like Pine Sol. But I can kind of smell that coconut. It's weird. It smells like, it smells zesty. Like citrusy zesty. Next is Royalty Scents, my two from May. And this first one is Bond Number no. 9, Madison Avenue. And this is described as having apple, blackberry, and bergamot in the top. In the middle is rose, jasmine, and magnolia. And in the base is patchouli, praline, and ambroxan. So. Give it, give it up. All right. Let's give her a spray. Oh, I smell that apple. I smell the apples and florals right off the top. Mm -hmm. It's feminine. I think this will be good if you work in an office setting as well. It's not offensive. It's, yeah, I, I really like this. This is bond number nine, Madison Avenue. This is a, this is a win for me. And my last one is going to be Dolce & Gabbana for Parfum Intense. The top is Neroli and Green Mandarin. Middle is Orange Blossom and Tuberose. And the base is Marshmallow and Sandalwood. And that Marshmallow Dry Down in the original, it's everything. Everything. So let's spray Dolce & Gabbana Parfum Intense. Yeah, I get the, the um, citrus at the top. I'm going to spray this on my skin. Let's see, it's clear there. Come back to this creed. I'm getting a light whiff of coconut. But, I mean, I don't know. I'm going to try and wear that creed again to see oh you guys that marshmallow this is my may scent subscription and um i'd love to do this every time i get my monthly set subscription come on smell them with y'all let you know my thoughts see if anyone has some feedback or some sense that you know you like to suggest to me that i can add into my subscription um so why do i have two well first i had three i had scent box scent bird and royalty scents um i had scent box first and it was fine but scent box um is mainly designer and some celebrity scents and royalty scents you'll find some designer and more of the niche brands so let's go back to scent box. What I mean by designer, you'll find like um, Dolce & Gabbana, Versace, um, Prada. Um, what else is on there? Uh, Kenzo, um, Ariana Grande scents, some of Rihanna's scents. I don't think they have Britney Spears scents on there anymore. Um, but like your pink sugars, though, and juicy couture, those kind of scents you can get on scent box. Royalty scents, you'll find um, the private blend stuff. So you'll find Tom Ford's private blend line. Like that's where I got samples of Lost Cherry, Rose Pit Prick, Bitter Peach, um, other um, scents across the Tom Ford private line. You can find the Guerlain line on royalty scents. You can find, like, not just Mongrelon, but, like, the other Guerlain scents. Like, Insolence and the, I think, the Ma Petite Robe Noir line, which I'm trying to get my hands on. They also have some Mason Francis Kirk John, uh, the MFK um, scents on there. Now, periodically, Scentbox will have some of those scents, but they go so quick. Um, cause every now and cause I actually, cause I got that creed from Scentbox and Scentbox is something you have to literally check every day 
just like royalty scents but you'll have to literally check it every day and have it in your queue so sometimes it won't be posted online but if it's in your queue and if they have it they'll send it to you because that's what happened with the creed one um like creed creed will be on royalty scents and um that price is that price there's no additional fee scent bird charges an additional five dollars for what they identify as premium scents so your product candies that you can get on scent box and royalty scents for that flat fee you have to pay an extra five dollars for it. and why like when i can just have a scent subscription over somewhere else and it's not an an, an upcharge for what you consider a premium scent so um and i'm just i just wasn't satisfied with scent bird scent selection after like i got the couple of scents i wanted and was like well everything you have here i can pretty much either get on scent box or you don't have something that i'm interested in smelling so that's just that on that for scent bird but um this concludes my may scent subscription and We'll be back soon with June and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.